Good morning, Bishop Lynch. Today is Wednesday, February 27th, 2013. I'm John Avery. And I'm April Estrella. And you're watching this week's edition of Across, Across Campus. Campus. Oh my gosh, I'm late to school again. Why are you so late all the time, April? Because people like this have been taking senior parking spots. Sarah, Taylor, and Carlos have more on this report. As the number of students here at Bishop Lynch increase, parking spots become more and more competitive. Carlos, Sarah, and I have more on this report. Are you aware of the parking problem here at BL? Um, yes, I'm very aware because I have a late arrival, so it's been a problem like multiple times. Yeah, I've heard that people um, aren't able to like find spots in the morning sometimes, and then they have to like park in the softball lot, and it's a really long walk and stuff. And how has it been a problem? Um, there have been days where like I haven't been able to park even in the main lot or the softball parking lot, and I have a parking pass, so that's kind of annoying. I won't say that I've never encountered a student parked in a faculty space before. I feel like a lot of times they won't find a parking spot, so they'll just like park where there isn't a real parking spot. And that's dangerous for like traffic flow if there's like a fire or anything, like fire trucks need to get in or whatever. And I've almost gotten my car towed on Idadale, or I've had to park in the Baptist Church, which is like ridiculously far away and has made me late. How do you think people are going to handle the parking situation next year with the renovations? I think that there will be a lot of, like you said, there will be a lot of juniors parking in senior spots and that there will be more parking on Inadale and stuff like that. Ooh, that's going to be really hard. It's a good thing I'm graduating. <laughs> so. um, I do think it's going to be a major issue. Uh, we are going to have a major reduction in parking. We're looking at a number of solutions to try to alleviate some of those issues. They said they're going to like offer more early dismissals or late arrivals, but I don't really understand like how that's going to fix anything. But hopefully it does, because I'm sick of the parking. We talked about the possibility of instituting a carpool rule so that students uh, who apply for parking passes must do so with someone else. One possibility, we've looked at the possibility of remote parking with shuttles that would take students to their vehicle at remote lots. We've also looked at the opportunity of um, instituting uh, an increased uh, number of late arrival early dismissals allowed. I think it's really unfair that I paid $120 at the beginning of the year for a parking pass and I still have to park like either on Inadale. Because like if you pay for parking on campus, you like expect to have that safety that like your car is going to be looked after while you're at school and so if you have to like park like on the street like on Inandale you don't have that same feeling. How do you think students can handle the BL parking situation this year? Um, just getting here early and finding a good parking space. But less than the number of cars coming onto campus and the only way to do that is by you know people sharing carpool. Do you think BL oversold the parking passes? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, y'all did. Okay. <laughs> no, we did not. For the number of parking spaces that we have, we have sold uh, the accurate number of passes. I've gotten here on time, but it, I've been late because of parking. So, Bishop Lynch, remember to keep calm and park in your designated parking spot. This has been Carlos Samira, Sarah Wheeler, and Taylor Curtis reporting for Across Campus. Cool, I finally found my own parking spot. Thanks, guys, for that report. April, that was so rude. I don't care. You need to learn some manners. Jeff and Salem have more on this report. Manners are an important part of society as a whole. Without manners, people may come off as rude or unintelligent. But does the Bishop Lynch community have good manners? And how important do they consider them? How important are good manners to you? Very important. Uh, I think they're they're crucial at some time. Sometimes manners are needed, but sometimes there's a time where you can just kind of be yourself and not have to be, uh, have manners all the time. Yes. Why? Because it shows that us earthlings are very polite and respectful. What are some simple good manners you see in everyday life? I, I do tend to notice people um, doing the most basic things, saying please and thank you. Um, just politeness, holding doors open, um, greeting people in the hallway, looking people in the eye. Um, I always hold open the door for girls and stuff like that, and old ladies and stuff. Uh, saying please and thank you. 
Do you think chivalry is still around? Um, no, chivalry does not exist. No, chivalry is dead in the young. Uh, sometimes I think it's I think it's still lingering in there somewhere. In a very small population of the gentlemen that I know, yes. But as as a whole, mm, not so much. What manners would you like to see more, or what good manners would you like to see more around the Bishop Lynch community that you don't necessarily see right now? That's a tough one. Um, I would recommend, and this is going to sound funny, but that people be mindful of who might be within earshot when they use certain words, certain language. Uh, you know, certainly I've never encountered anyone saying anything offensive here, and that's that's a very good thing to note. But. Um, you know, I think it's important that we uh, are just mindful of the people around us when we're speaking in general. Um, you never know who might be nearby and, and who might take something the wrong way. What are some bad manners that you notice a lot? Um, people talking with their mouth full or when they don't say thank you. On occasion, um, I have been confronted with bad manners. <coughs> Exhibit one. When going up to a student and you pleasantly say, good morning, how are you? And they walk by and go, that's bad manners. When you, out of the kindness of your heart, hold the door open for someone, just because that's what you like to do for people, and they don't say thank you, that's bad manners. And I think it's this type of just a small little thing that, that really compounds into something very big. Good manners are a sign of a good person. So make sure you're always polite to your fellow people. This has been Jeff Sullivan and Salem Abagazali reporting for Across Campus. I'm sorry, Julianne, for pushing you into a locker. It's okay, April. I'm glad you learned some manners. Thanks, guys, for that report. And now it's time for The, the Walk, Walk Across. Across. Thursday is an A day. The varsity baseball team competes in the Jesuit tournament. Course selections continues, and at 7 p.m. is a musical performance. Friday is a B-Day. The varsity baseball team continues to compete in the Jesuit tournament. Course selections are due, and at 3 p.m. the women's varsity soccer team plays in the first playoff game at BL, followed by the boys' varsity soccer team. At 7 p.m., there will be a performance of Greece in the McGonagall Theater. Saturday, the track team competes in a meet at Green Hill. The varsity baseball team competes in the Jesuit tournament. And at 8 a.m., the band competes in the solo slash ensemble festival. And at 7 p.m., there will be a performance of Grease in the McGonagall Theater. At 2 p.m., it's your last chance to see the musical. Monday is the May Day. At 4 p.m., the freshman baseball team play versus ESD at home followed by the varsity baseball team playing Bishop Dunn. Tuesday is a B-Day. The men's golf team compete in the GISD Invitational, and the women's golf team compete at Canyon Creek. In the morning in the chapel is a mass, and after school in the cafeteria is a math contest. At 4 p.m., the varsity baseball team play against Bishop Dunn at Bishop Dunn. At 4.30 p.m., the women's varsity tennis team plays against Ursuline. At 4.30 p.m., the varsity softball team plays against Chant at JP2. At 7 p.m., the JV baseball team play against Plano East at Plano East. And at 8 p.m., the women's varsity soccer team plays in the regional playoffs. And also at 8 p.m., the men's varsity soccer team plays in the regional playoffs. Go get them, Friars! Wednesday is an A-Day with a late arrival schedule. At 6 p.m., there's a junior parent nominance training. And don't forget to tune in for your weekly edition of The Walk Across. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Across Campus. We'll see you next week. Where the news is. Right where you are. Across, across campus. campus.